my god, you guys, I'm so behind. I'm so screwed for finals. Oh. Uh. I haven't even started studying the farm dogs. I, mean, I know. Tell, tell, tell me about, about it. it. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. Oh, no. Shut no. Really? I'm sorry. God, are you getting sick? I think so. Oh, great. Gross. Bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh no. Oh my god, I don't feel so good. Oh, I have something thirst. to give you. Okay, since you have bronchitis, it's a mucolytic agent will help you with management associated with the thick mucus secretions. Acetylcysteine is a derivative of cysteine in a acetyl group that is attached to the nitrogen atom. It is used as a cough medicine because it breaks disulfide bonds in mucus and liquefies it, making it easier to cough up. It also breaks up disulfide bonds that makes it use, useful in thin and thick mucus. The pharmacokinetics of acetylcysteine is that its actions remain local following inhalations. Remainder may be absorbed from pulmonary epithelium. It's distributed across the placenta. 83% is bound to the plasma proteins. It is partially metabolized by the liver. 22% is excreted renally. It has a half-life for adults of five to six hours. This medicine is contraindicated for individuals with hypersensitivity, asthma, or history of bronchi bronchospasms. Okay? So some adverse effects that you may feel are as follow. Drowsiness, vasodilation, tachycardia, hypotension, bronchospasms, chest tightness, nausea, vomiting. If, if symptoms persist, you will need to consult a health professional. Okay, you're going to want to inhale 3 to 5 milliliters of 20% solution or 6 to 10 milliliters of 10% solution 3 to 4 times daily. Please make sure to drink a lot of water, a minimum of 2 to 3 liters a day to decrease viscosity of secretions. If you feel like this medication is not right for you, there are some alternative medications that you can take such as erdosteine or carbocysteinato. Okay, do you have any questions? No, that's good. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. one site for you. What it does is going to promote vasoconstriction. So the vasoconstriction in your nose is going to prevent the edema and then also get rid of any congestion that you may have. Yeah, and so what you want to do is just take this drug for a maximum of three days because if you're on it for more than three days, what can happen to you is known as rebound effect. So even though you're using it for congestion, it's going to rebound into actual congestion once again. So only use it for three days. You can use it orally or in a nasal spray. And you don't want to take more than 60 milligrams per day, four times to six times a day. In addition, you want to report to the healthcare provider if you're feeling any nausea, vomiting, stomach upset. Um, as well as any um, tachycardia, you do not want to take this medication if you're diabetic, um, have a thyroid problem, heart disease. Um, any questions so far? No, you covered it all. Great. Well, I hope you feel better in ASO's final. Thank you. <laughs> Hey there. <coughs> hey, you're Hey, I'm Kyle. Nice to meet you, Kyle. How you feeling today? Not so good. I need you to fix me. No. Oh, you, you, don't, you look like you have a cough. Is that what you're coming in for? Yes. Again? Okay, no problem. Have you tried any other medications yet? No, I have not. Okay. Um, well, what I'm going to suggest to you is a dextromethorphan. It's basically Robitussin DM. You see it like, over the counter. Okay, the source. I've seen that. Dextromethorphan is an agonist of the opiate sigma 1 and 2 receptors and is an agonist of the NMDA glutaminic receptors. It also has the effects of an antagonist on the alpha-3 beta-4 nicotinic receptors, um, such acting on the serotonin reuptake pump. So what, what's going to happen is basically dextromethorphan is going to enter your bloodstream, it's going to cross the blood-brain barrier, 
and it's going to be rapidly absorbed into your GI tract. And long story short, it's going to co stop that coughing. Okay. Nice. <laughs> so it's good. It's part of the antitussive type classification of drugs. Also, um, three other drugs that are kind of similar to this. So I've heard of codeine before, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, like yeah. codeine. So um, uh, Benadryl. <coughs> and also um, eucalyptus oil, which is kind of more of a homeopathic medicine. Dextromethorphan is usually paired with another medication, so like lisinophen, which is, um, we're going to stop that cough a little bit and let you kind of expector it out. That's what lisinophen is, right? Basically, just uh, you can go and you can take a um, 10 to 30 milligram oral capsule every day, and that's going to help <coughs> that, suppress that coughing, and you take that about four to eight hours a day. You should take this medicine with water. Some of the common side effects you may have from this medication is going to be like nausea, drowsiness, difficulty breathing, um, some dizziness, maybe some body itching, you know, if you start to get itchy, just go ahead and stop taking the medication and then you come back in and we'll get, give you something else. Um, <clears throat> this medication should also not be taken with, are you taking any MAO inhibitors? Nope, not that I know of. Okay, you don't have to worry about serotonin syndrome, which is good. Um, and just when you take this medicine, try not to take it with grapefruit juice, okay? Okay. All right. More questions, just go ahead and come back in or, you know, you can email me and just try the, um, try this over the counter first. And then if it keeps going or progressing, we'll step it up to something else. Okay. Thanks, Scott. You've been a little bit helpful. No problem. Good luck on finals. Thank you. <coughs> Oh, I just called my hand. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I'm okay. How are you? You know, I'm not too well. My cough just, I cannot kick this cough. I've been eating cough drops all day and I just stay awake all night <clears throat> coughing and it's just like super dry and I can't, it, nothing comes out. Just nothing happens. Okay. I can't get rid of it. I'm sorry to hear that. It sounds like you have a non-productive cough. And according to your chart, it looks like your doctor ordered you coding. Oh, okay. Okay, so coding is a cough suppressant. It comes in tablets or in a solution and can be taken orally. Uh, the dose is about 10 to 20 milligrams and you can take it up to every four hours uh, as needed. But you shouldn't take more than 120 milligrams in a day. Okay, how does it work? Uh, so it's an opioid receptor agonist. And so what that does is it triggers a physiologic response mm -hmm. and you'll feel analgesia, euphoria, respiratory depression. Um, it's a really good antitussive in that you have your CNS, your central nervous system, mm -hmm. and what it does, it'll increase your cough threshold and decrease your cough reflex. So it'll, oh, it'll hold some of that back. So I don't have to cough as much, huh? Hopefully not. Oh, good. Okay, but you should know there are side effects. Okay. Uh, most people experience GI problems, such as constipation, uh, nausea, and vomiting. Okay. So be aware of that. And some people might be dizzy or lightheaded. Um, it might not be the best for your studying schedule, but it's better than having that cough. Definitely, I just need to get some sleep. Mm -hmm. um, but one serious side effect is respiratory depression. Uh, do you have a history of asthma? No. Okay, good, because it's contraindicated for people with bronchial asthma or respiratory depression. Um, one last thing, uh, it's contraindicated for pregnant women or nursing mothers, oh. but I don't think that's gonna be a yeah, problem. Yeah, I think I'm not pregnant. Yeah, so. okay, yeah, that's <laughs> what I thought. Um, so it looks like you tried all the other options. You tried Robitussin, it says here, and it didn't work. So let's give Codeine a try. It's a lot stronger. Um, one last thing, um, if you're taking naltrexone, mm -hmm. no? Okay, good, because that will actually interact with uh, Codeine and it'll make it less effective. Okay, I'll so, make sure not to take anything okay. else. Okay, that's good. So do you have any questions for me? No, I don't. Thank okay. you so much. No problem. <clears throat> good luck on your finals. Oh, thanks. from your doctor's <coughs> notes that you are suffering from serious chest congestion, <coughs> um, and it looks like you've got bronchitis. Um, Let me just take a quick peek in your uh, your mouth. Yeah, we got some um, nice looking phlegm there. But yeah. not to worry, what we're going to do is I'm going to recommend guafenicin. Mm -hmm. It's an oral expectorant, 
and a mucolytic, which okay. means that it's going to help loosen the phlegm and the bronchial secretions, so it'll help your non-productive cough become more productive and mm -hmm. get rid of the mucus. Okay? Uh-oh. No, it's a good thing. I, okay. I see that you've... <laughs> yeah, my boyfriend's already. not happy about that one. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> so let's take care of that. Okay. Um, I'm going to recommend, there's a few products over the counter. We All can right. do Robitussin. We can do Mucinex. That's a co uh, common, popular one. Or Organidin. If you're going to do Mucinex, my recommendation is that you take it with or without food. Um, plenty of water so that you can help break up that mucus. And you want to take two to 400 milligrams every four hours with the, tab with the tablets, not to exceed 2,400 a day. If you take the extended release mucinex, it's every 12 hours and not to exceed 2,400 a day. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that's going to really be helpful for you. Adverse effects to look out for, they're rare, but if you do have any, it could be dizziness, it could be nausea, it could be vomiting, it could be shortness of breath and abdominal pain. Allergic reactions are also rare, but what you want to look out for is itching and swelling of the throat, the face, um, any of this area, and right away you want to seek medical attention. You're not suffering from any heart failure, are you? You look young and great, okay, because you don't want to be taking this medicine if you have heart failure or cough due to heart failure and you're on ACE inhibitor therapy. All right? All right. Don't worry, we're going to get you feeling better in no time, and you're going to do great as a nursing student. I have faith in you. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> see you later. Bye.